Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is on this cat makeup look which is perfect if you're after a last minute costume idea for Halloween and don't have the time or the money to get a fancy costume. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. So I've already stuck down some sticky tape and primed my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Then I lost the footage of this but all I did guys was I applied some of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to my eyelid and then I blended it out with a Sigma E25 brush. And now I'm just going to set that Jumbo Pencil with Taco by Sugar Pill which is just a matte white eyeshadow and I'm just patting this on with a flat shader brush. Next up I'm taking Makeup Geek's Barcelona Beach on a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to blend this into my crease so we'll have that nice transition from grey to our skin tone. Now I'm going to take Stealth by Makeup Geek on a MAC 217 brush. The 217 brush is pretty much exactly the same as the Sigma E25 brush. I use both of these brushes in this tutorial but yeah, just know they do the exact same thing. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend Stealth into my crease and out of V. Then I'm going in with Corrupt by Makeup Geek, but obviously you can use any matte black eyeshadow you already have. And I'm just going to take that on the same MAC 217 brush and use it to darken up the outer corners of my eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with Rockstar, also by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to pack this on to the center of my eyelid to blend out the grey into the white. Then I'm going back in with another blending brush to make sure everything's blended. Now to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to use Soft Gold by Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills on a MAC 239 brush. Using the Maybelline Gel Liner and a Makeup Geek Bent Liner brush, I'm going to draw on a wing and I'm going to take the eyeliner right into my inner corner as well, uh, just so that we get that cat eye effect. Then I'm going to apply some of the Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara before adding some falsies. And today I'm going to use the Foxy Lashes by Coco Lashes. And now we can take off the sticky tape and move on to our face. So I'm starting off with primer and this is the Benefit Professional Primer. Then for foundation I'm using L'Oreal True Match and blending this in with a beauty blender. Now time for concealer. I'm going for more of a subtle highlight today, so I'm taking the NARS Creamy Concealer, I think, in Custard, and I'm putting this under my eyes, my forehead, my mouth, and my chin. And what are you doing, cat? <laughs> okay. So now I'm just going to blend that all in with my Beauty Blender. Next up I'm going to set my face with the Makeup Forever HD Powder in Translucent and as usual I'm using a Real Technique setting brush to set the smaller areas of my face, then switching to a larger powder brush for the rest. Okay so now on to actually looking like a cat. <laughs> I'm going to take that Taco eyeshadow again on a Sigma E50 brush and pat this over my mouth to create the start of a cat's mouth. Next up, I'm going to quickly contour using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm just going to contour the usual places, so my cheekbones, jaw, forehead and nose. Then for blush, I'm going to use the Sigma blush in For Cute and this blush just matches the ears perfectly. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Thumbs up for cat puns. <laughs> Now I'm going in with the Mary Lou highlighter by The Balm and applying this to my cheekbones and down the center of my face so we look nice and luminous. So now we can go back to the eyes. I'm grabbing that gel liner again and I'm going to extend that top line so our eyes look more cat-like. Then I'm going to line my lower lash line as well. Next up I'm going to grab this Too Faced black eyeliner and line my waterline and tight line just to make sure our eyes are nice and dark and cat like. Then to finish your eyes you just want to add another coat of mascara. Now I'm going to paint on our cat nose. Now I couldn't find any pink face paint so I'm just going to mix these white and red tubs together but obviously if you can find pink just use pink. 
So I'm taking the face paint on a Sigma concealer brush and yeah, painting on a cat nose. So once that paint is dried, I'm going to grab a really thin eyeliner brush and that gel eyeliner again and use it to outline the pink. Next up, I'm going to draw a line straight down from my nose to my lips and then I'm going to draw the outline of my lips with the black eyeliner as well. But don't do that yet. Learn from my mistakes. You want to do your lipstick first, then outline your lips. Trust me, it will make your life so much easier. Now, still with that gel liner, I'm going to draw eight little dots above my mouth and then some cute little whiskers. One side seemed to be a lot harder than the other and kind of turned out a bit wonky, but oh well. They still looked alright. So lastly for lipstick, I'm using the L'Oreal Color Reach Lipstick in the shade 130. And this is where I had a lot of trouble because I'd already lined my lips with the black eyeliner. So yeah, lipstick first, then eyeliner, guys. So now I'm just using a lip brush to blend the black and pink together and now we're done! I hope you guys liked this cute cat Halloween makeup. If you recreate this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and all that jazz. Also please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Oh and one last thing I forgot to mention, my cat ears are from Tokyo Disneyland and now I'm going to know all the people asking where my cat ears are from. Didn't stay till the end of the video. <laughs> okay, now bye for real this time, guys. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me. 